Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. In today's video, we are going to be ranking all of the scents that I have tried so far this year. I believe I have them all here. Um, so it really is um, mostly gonna be from the brunch collection through the laundry fresh collection. And then I do have a few new of the summer scents that we just got, not all of them. So this video isn't gonna be too far updated from my last ranking video, but some have changed places because I have been using them more and, you know, just having different feelings about them. So we're going to jump right in. I have the 17 cents and then I have, um, I'm going to mix in the newest ones, kind of put them in the ranking where I think they would fall now. And then when I get my hands on all the summer scents, we'll do another ranking. So we're going to jump in with the only scent that I no longer have, I'm going to just insert a picture, say it with me, Pear Creme Brulee. Now, again, I'm going to say this. I really enjoyed the single wick candle. I really enjoy the scent. I really feel like it's just the way that that scent reacts with my body chemistry. It kind of just smells like a stale, you know, it just doesn't smell good on my skin. It has like a baked pear, caramelized sugar, you know, type of thing. And I really liked the way it smelled on the paper and I really enjoyed the way it smelled on the cap. But when I sprayed it on me, it was kind of like I could smell food was like on my shirt somewhere or something, but not like in a good way. So I just didn't pull the sweetness, but in the single wick, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I really wish they would come out with that candle in a three wick, but for body care, it was a total pass for me. So that one kind of maintains its spot at the top of my list of all the new scents I've tried this year. Now, again, some of these have changed from where they were on the list originally, and that's really just incorporating new scents. And then as I've tried them more and blended them with things, I've kind of just, you know, moved them around a little bit. So the first scent, which is gonna be scent uh, 16, white t-shirt. Now, hear me out, friends. I like this scent, but I feel like we were just so hyped about this scent. You know, it was in some test stores, it was at some outlets, and people got their hands on it. And I think a lot of people really enjoy this scent. But if I'm being honest, I have far more fresh scents that I like better than white t-shirts. So let me read you the notes. It's a crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. And I love all of those things. I like the way that this smells and I'm just going to use the cap because I'm wearing one of my the scents today and I just sprayed it recently so that spraying these on me really wouldn't do them justice but I like how fresh and sweet and almost like you can smell the sunshine on this scent but it's one that I overlook a lot of times if I'm looking for something fresh. I just see myself gravitating towards scents that I like a little bit more than this one. So fresh coconut and cotton, um, fresh getaway magnolia charm scents even older in my collection so i'm not reaching for it which means it's just not a very like memorable scent i don't think it smells that amazing on me it's just very clean very laundry fresh so it's a great scent but it just fell really far down on my list here okay the next one's going to be uh, another from the champagne brunch collection bubbly rose and i know that when i did my ranking of that uh, collection. This was number two for me and I do like it, but I just feel like we have these scents over and over and over. And when I'm thinking about a scent like this, which is like the effervescent bubbly fruity, I do prefer to grab for my champagne toast or even like uh, tutti fruity candy, jelly beans, whatever. Um, and I like this a little, but I just, I don't reach for it. As you can see, I've only really used pretty much where I was at way back in February. Um, I do like the notes on this. It's pink, sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and a splash of cranberry. I don't have a lot of cranberry scents in my collection, so for that purpose, I really enjoy having this, but I just see myself reaching for raspberry tangerine, champagne toast, and scents like that far more than scents like this. Sorry, friends. Got a call. We're back. Okay, so then scent number... 14 is going to go to Saltwater Breeze. And this one I picked up on a whim. I was actually making some exchanges and this packaging got me. I did not have this scent before and I actually really like this scent. It's a really nice fresh scent, but it is another one that is just not super memorable to me with all that I have. So none of these are bad. The only one that didn't work for my chemistry was Pear Creme Brulee, but I really liked the scent. It just wasn't going to spray it on pillows and curtains. I exchanged it out. Um, so this one is fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. It does have more of that perfumey presence. And I actually have this in the perfume. I found the perfume and a lotion at Assess. They were discontinuing this scent. It used to be a part of the signature line. 
but I just thought, oh, you know, I like to have the mist to carry around and refresh. And this is nice. I do like the violet um, floral that's in here. It makes it a little bit more than just a salty, breezy kind of scent. But again, I just don't reach for it a lot because I just I have so many more on this list that I love. Plus, I have favorites from last year that I'm still pulling for. So for that reason, it's pretty far up on my list. This one's going to make people mad. Whipped Berry Meringue. Although you guys know I'm a huge fan of Boardwalk Taffy, this scent is just so repackaged for me at this point that I'm not reaching for this scent. It is a beautiful scent. It smells just like Boardwalk Taffy, just like Cotton Candy Clouds. So in terms of like my favorite ever, I love the scent of this because it's notes of fresh berries, whipped sugar, whipped sugar and fluffy vanilla. Very cotton candy, very pretty. It mixes with so many things and just makes it super sweet. But I have this like 10 times over. So I like the scent. I love the packaging. It was just a collection. I wanted everything. But then again, Pear Creme Brulee didn't work out for me. And I really am bummed about that because I do have this small part of me that likes to have the whole collection together to show you and take pictures and stuff. But this scent is great. It's just that we had it already and we had it in multiple names and repackagings that I think it was a little unfair to change the name because I think people thought it was going to be a new scent. And I know some people said, oh, it's got more berries, this or that, but I've smelled them straight up on paper cap and my skin. I can't tell any difference. The next scent is going to be quite a similar scent. I do like having this scent though, and I'll tell you why. Pastel Skies is up next. So we're at number 12. And this is Soft Cloud Berries, Pink, Spun Sugar, and Coconut Musk. This is a nice summer take on the Boardwalk Taffy, but it is 90% Boardwalk Taffy with this hint of coconut on the dry down. I love that the coconut is there, but again, since I have so much Boardwalk Taffy, I could mix it with something coconut. So it's not revolutionary, but I thought the packaging was cute. It went with the Cloud Nine and the Confetti Daydream and all that, that it came back out. And I like the scent. It's, it's really, um, for a Boardwalk Taffy type of scent, it's long lasting because you really do get the coconut lingering the longest. So it does have a difference. I'll give it that. That's why it bumped up one spot on my list over um, whipped berry meringue because it is different, but not that different. So I like it and I have, you know, 10 different versions of Boardwalk Taffy at this point. And if you ask me if I would buy another, what do you think the answer is? Probably, but that's why they didn't really fall too far down the list because they just don't excite me that much. Okay, coconut cream pie, I love. I love this scent. This is not high up on the list because it's not a great scent. This is number 11. And um, I'm going to say the notes are toasted coconut flakes, caramel, custard, and golden pie crust. This is a nice caramel gourmand scent. Some people don't want to walk around smelling like a pie. I do not mind. I do not mind walking around smelling like coconut cream pie. The decadence of this scent is very, like I said, very gourmand. It's not heavy though. It's, it's you know, it's a night, nice light caramel cream type of scent another straight up great scent to blend and I'm really happy to have this but I had already had it in the big shot from the year before so I know why they brought this back this was a very popular scent but I'm not reaching for it because I've just been reaching for other things I need to stop saying that because we're going to like start taking a shot of water every time I say it and get super hydrated okay <clears throat> the next scent because I'm going to do all of my older scents and I'm going to put the new ones kind of in where I would put them right now was our Easter body care we got full-size Easter body care. I think for the first time, we usually get some minis of some kind. And this is Tutti Fruity Candy. This has notes of sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. This to me is like champagne toast meets like unicorn sprinkles. A little bit of that like candied lemon scent um, kind of changes it up. It's not straight up champagne toast. And I think it's really sweet and pretty and it's just perfect for spring and summer. I'm going to reach for this more even though Easter's come and gone but um I really like this scent I'm a very big fan of champagne toast so that's why I could see myself really going through a full size or I wouldn't have even purchased it but I really do like the scent um I think this is at the outlets now and it's going to be at SAS for sure and if they had overstock I'm sure you're going to see this so if you didn't get a chance to pick this up you might get a great deal on it when SAS comes around and I've had a couple of you ask me to do a video on SAS I always do always I've been doing this for like a year and a half but I will definitely do like a wish list for me just to say these are things I'm looking for, uh, tips and tricks, all of that. I love doing those videos, so I will absolutely do that for you guys. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them down below so I make sure to answer them in that video. Okay, we are at number nine. And like I said, from this point on, these have all at some point been a number one in my scent like 
preference, but they've just been changing places as I've been kind of, you know, getting new scents, trying new scents, trying different blends. So number nine goes to cloud nine. I thought that was kind of cute, right? It happened completely on accident, but I really do like this set. This is a nice relaxing set and it's pretty and perfumey if you don't love the straight up aromatherapy kind of relaxing scent. This is Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, and Cozy Amber. This is definitely not going to be for everyone. Um, I think that the reason I like it is because I've really kind of been, you know, loving lavender. And I was nervous about the Morning Dew Drops, but it really is a spring scent. So maybe they can add that fresh air Morning Dew Drop kind of note to a spring scent. But when they do it in the fall, and it could just be where I live, it's too hot for me. Spring is nice and cool. We're getting warmer though, but we're getting closer to June. So that makes sense. But we're getting up to like high 80s. So scents like this are too much for me in that warm weather. But in the spring, in a cool morning, this is a very cozy scent. And that's why I like it so much. So Cloud Nine is our number nine scent. And then we're going to go into, I mean, honestly, you guys, at this point, I'm just talking about favorites. Fresh Coconut and Cotton. Now where everybody, I think, for the most part, thought that they were going to be a big white t-shirt fan. This was going to be the scent that was the sneaky underdog. I really enjoyed this scent and I'm glad they brought them out at the same time because I think we were all hyped for white t-shirt, which got us into the store and got us trying this fresh coconut and cotton. This is coconut, cotton breeze, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. Some of the fonts are really light, so I can read, but this one is a nice sweet take on a fresh scent and that is why I prefer over white t-shirt. It is a nice sweet beachy fresh powdery a little bit like you can almost again smell that sunshine which I love. Another scent that even though it really was nice in the spring I can see myself pulling for the summer because it just freshens you up and I like that when you kind of get a little sweaty. So this is a scent that I think you could carry around spray on your clothes and it wouldn't be heavy so you wouldn't get like sick because again for me scents that are heavy are really hard to wear when it's hot. So that is a favorite. I absolutely love that scent. That's one I would love to back up at Sass. Okay, next is this one, which I really have, it's been all over my list, Copper Coconut Sands, but I'm just starting to use this more right now and I'm really liking it. So this is number eight. This is scent notes of Sunkissed Coconut, Soft Orchid Petals, and Creamy Sandalwood. This is just like a creamy beachy scent. Um, you know, we got coconut and everything at this point on in the year and, you know, they all smell different. This is not overly sweet or overly tropical and that's what I love about it. It's kind of one of those like I would say more unisex leaning scents where it just smells good and it's not like feminine or masculine in any way. It's just kind of beachy and the, the orchid petals are a soft floral background so I wouldn't say this is an overly floral scent and I just love everything with sandalwood. It just kind of is one of those luxury scents that makes me smell fancy and I like it. So Clapper Coconut Sands is also good in the single wick another candle that they could bring out in a three wick and it would do really well. Okay, so now we are to probably, well, absolutely is my favorite scent from Champagne Brunch Collection. The one I've used the most is Peach Prosecco Macaron. And as you can see, they're all just little dips because you guys, when you have this much, this is a lot of sprays actually so far. So I really enjoy this scent. I don't think this was everyone's favorite. This was a very nice like candied peach scent to me. The notes are Peach Prosecco, Vanilla Cream, and Macaron Cookie. I just got like peach rings and I love that. So this is one that I just, I love those candy fruity scents. You know me. So creamy vanilla peachy scent and it's yummy and it's not too heavy. Like the peach isn't get rotten or sour and the vanilla also is nice and creamy. So I love that one. Okay. This one I knew I would love because I'm just a big fan of fruity scents. So pink pineapple sunrise. When this came out, I was like, yep, that's mine. I like this scent. There's nothing too exciting about this scent. It is a sweet pink pineapple fruity scent with some sugar um, and then sun-drenched nectar. Fun fact, I still have not tried a pink pineapple and I really want to, but everything about this scent, I just love the sweetness. It's really, really sweet and sugary um, and like, you know, I'm going to spray a little bit on my hand. And the pineapple is so sweet and I just think, you know, we didn't get that happy coconuts line back out with all the different versions of pineapple, pineapple, palm, pineapple, coconut, pineapple, coconut, 
lime. There was a few of them. I, my memory is not good, but I really enjoyed coconut pineapple. So I think that's why I love this scent. And I love mixing them. It just makes the pineapple like pop. So that's a really good one in my book. And then um, let's see here. We are at this scent. Um, it is a really good scent. I really don't want anyone to take this the wrong way. This is coming in at number four. I like this scent. It's just that when you have a big collection, nothing is really going to wow you except for maybe your absolute favorite scent. This is kind of a very basic vanilla black raspberry scent, but it's still really nice. I like Confetti Daydream and I like black raspberry vanilla. Um, I know this has also been compared to like Open Sky a little bit. Um, I think there's a little bit of sweet pea in here. This is a scent where if you've been a fan of Bath & Body Works for a while, you've smelled it in different versions, but you haven't smelled this version. Now, why did I pick it up? I love butterflies. So I knew that when they came out with a butterfly collection, I was going to grab everything. And I've grabbed wallflowers, candle holders, like butterflies are just one of, that's like my collectible thing. So I definitely wanted to have this. I have the perfume and I really love the scent. It's just that there's nothing groundbreaking about it because again, there's a little bit of that all those different DNAs from the scents I've mentioned. So black raspberry and vanilla, really pretty scent. Confetti daydream, really pretty scent. Like I said, it kind of gives me a little bit of that sweet pea, which is just a fruity floral. And that's what this is. So anyone that has maybe taken that the wrong way, please know that I do like this scent. Um, if it's moved on my ranking, it doesn't mean that it's a bad scent. It's just that I, there's a few that I like a little bit better that work better with me, my collection and like you know, how I'm using them. So I like Butterfly. I will have this. I'm very excited to have it. And I really wasn't trying to overhype it at any point, but I was just really drawn into the aesthetics of this collection and the scent was just okay. I'm glad because I said I was going to pick this up even if it was fresh cut lilacs. So that tells you a lot about it because that's the one scent that I never buy from Bath and Body Works. But I really like it. It's just, it really is just a black, ra black raspberry and vanilla mixed with some confetti daydream iris. There you go, you've got butterfly. So I like it, I really do. I hope that that makes sense because I know a few people have gotten upset in the comments saying, you said you loved it and now you're saying it's just okay. It, I, I described it the best I can, you guys. I've just, I'm just, you know, I'm not sure. But let's move on. That is my number four scent. These are, these were hard. The rest of these were really hard because I had this at first place at one point and I like Fresh Getaway. This is a nice, again, kind of that like, unisex meaning like it doesn't lean like sugary and fruity and it doesn't lean to any of the like lemongrass type of you know just clean scents it's just straight down the middle with yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air it's beachy it's clean it's got a little hint of citrus but it's not like I said sweet candy so this could be for anyone but any scent could be for anyone I'm just saying I could spray this on something, you know, in the house and no one would think it was my perfume. They would just think it was some type of cleaning product or something. Really nice scent. This is one that I would absolutely grab to take on vacation because it just kind of reminds me of a getaway, you know, hence the name. So um, it's just one of those scents where maybe I won't wear it every day, but when I do wear it, I'm probably thinking about making a vacation plan or trying to get out of Dodge. So let's keep going. Number two is going to go to another signature scent we got this year, Gingham Love. This is my favorite version of Gingham. I don't think that that's what everyone would say. I really did like Heart of Gold, but this one has a little bit of the actual original Gingham in it, but with some fresh berries. And so the notes are sugared red berry, blushing freesia. The freesia is what kind of ties it to the original Gingham and then Rose Meringue. So this isn't really whipped Rose Meringue, but if you like that scent, you would probably like this scent, but I'm a big fan of Juicy red berries sweetening up the soft rose petals. So this is another one that I will wear very often. And I like it a lot. And I have it in the perfume and everything. So I can do like the full routine. Love this scent. Okay. So now we're going to do my favorite scent. And then we're going to mix in the newest three scents to my collection. I'm definitely making some combinations here. Even though I know I said at the beginning of the video, I wasn't going to do that. Number one goes to this scent. This is the only one I picked up before the no buy. The rest came from exchanges. Berry, no, Buttercups and Berry Bellini. I should probably know the name. It's just, this came out for like Mother's Day with white tea and sage and um, honeysuckle and peach spritz. And I just knew I didn't need that one because it was a new scent, but like it was compared to the 
Honeysuckle Peach Tea, which did not, it was a kind of another pear curl brulee situation, didn't do well on my skin. So this has notes of strawberry puree, buttercup flowers, and bubbly Prosecco. So it's just pulling in a little bit of all the great things, you know, a little bit of that like bubbly rosé effervescence, fruity, sugary, but I love the strawberry in here. And, you know, it's just, it's really, really pretty. It's a long lasting scent on me. I really can pull that strawberry and that uh, Prosecco for a long time, but champagne toast lasts a long time on me. So take that as you will. Um, because you know, if you, if you're like, no, champagne dis dissipates on me really quickly, then maybe you wouldn't feel that way about this one. But I feel like I can smell this like in my hair or on my clothes for a very long time. So it's a nice scent for me because it just lasts a long time on my skin. So that's my number one. But now we're going to put these three scents into the countdown. So I did get a chance to try the lotion, but I did try the spray in store. I just didn't have this was with a freebie coupon. Um, I didn't have anything to exchange it for, so I can talk about it because I did smell it. But this is Rainbow Waves, and this is like sangria with some fruit and a little bit of like a misty, oh, I don't know, misty waves or misty waters. And I think that's just sea salt. So this is not so much sangria, very fruity. Um, and without it being like overly sweet, it's kind of got a salty sweet vibe to me with that misty waves. I think it gives it like a salt. So kind of like fruit mixed with salt, which we do with some fruits, right? Like I love salt on watermelon, but um, this isn't any distinct fruit scent. It's just kind of fruity and I love it a lot. So this is the first one we're going to rank and I am going to get the rest of the body care in this at some point, but I'm going to put this right between um, these two scents here. So at number uh, 12, we had Pastel Skies, which again, I really like. It's boardwalk taffy mixed with coconut. And then at number um, 11, we had the coconut cream pie, which was that gourmand caramel cream scent. I'm going to put Rainbow Waves right in the middle, meaning I like this scent for the coconut, but I like this one just a little bit more because of that salty, fruity mix, and I don't have that in my collection. I think this is going to really be a hit, you guys. I don't know about the candle because it wasn't one that jumped out to me when I was smelling in store and doing the exchanges, but when I picked up this body care and I sprayed the big spray on me, I was smelling it for the rest of the day and I was thinking, I really like that. So I'm glad I have this. I need to get the rest, but I'm going to put it right before this one just because again, you guys know how I lean towards the gourmand caramel like you know I like to walk around smelling like strawberry pound cake who do I think I am but rainbow waves is kind of a little higher up on my list I, I just have to get more pieces of it and again when I do get all the rest of summer I'm gonna do another one of these videos before sass so we can really talk about these scents okay next is gonna be summer melody so I've only gotten to wear this a couple times but I really like this scent it reminds me of something that I have in my collection from Victoria's Secret so I'm just gonna have to spray a bunch of stuff and figure it out I was looking at notes and nothing jumped out to me, but every time I spray it, I'm like, I think I have this in like a Victoria's Secret spray. The notes are golden honeydew and bronze vanilla. And for one, not that anything on this list happened because of packaging, but these colors jumped out at me. When I went to store with two mists, I didn't, I knew I was going to get beach nights, but I wasn't sure what I was going to pick up for the other one because I was just going to spray a few things and see. Um, because they kind of all are things I want to bring home with me eventually, but I have a bunch of rewards too. It's just that to place an online order, you have to order. So I didn't, didn't do that and I'm going to wait, but I have a bunch of rewards. I can get all this body care for free. Um, about 10, I think it's, that's a lot of rewards. So that's a lot of money spent, right? Let's not talk about it. Okay. So what I love about this one is that it is the perfect quintessential summer scent. The honeydew is so pretty. It first out of this, like when you spray this, you get that. And it's not cucumber melon, but if you like cucumber melon, you'll like this scent. And then as it dries down, you get more of that vanilla and it's not overly sweet. It doesn't smell anything like boardwalk taffy. The vanilla in here is almost like it belongs in like a sunscreen without that sunscreen note, but it's definitely like, it's not tropical but it's very summer. I just really think of summer with this scent. So I think this is actually going to be a really good one. And it only has those two notes. So that's all you're getting. You get a burst of, of that um, melon and then you get this dry down of a really pretty vanilla. So I am loving that. So this one, we are going to rank really high up because I'm a big fan. And so we're going to actually put 
Butterfly. And the list at number four. And then I think this is going to be my second favorite of the signature scents coming out because Gingham Love is my first. And then Fresh Getaway. I like this one because of that citrus scent. And it just kind of smells like your hair on an ocean. I've never been to the ocean. On a beach. So, you know, a man-made beach for me because I'm in the middle. I'm locked in the middle of the Midwest. I got to get out more. But this is going to be where I rank this one. So, Butterfly is still like number four, and then Summer Melody is going to be like three and a half, and then Fresh Getaway is going to be number three. And so last scent we're going to talk about, and again, I'm going to do a better job of this ranking next video when I get all the summer scents. So it's going to be a ton of scents. Beach Nights, you guys okay for one, the Nostalgia, put this one really high up on the list. Um, I love this scent when it used to come out like 2014, 2015, 2016. I backed it up a lot. I've literally pulled up and hearted some of the products on Macari knowing that they're old. I just can't justify the price, but I've wanted this scent to come back for so long. Um, I was a type girl and I know that not everybody's understanding it. It's just one of those things that reminds me of being like 20. Four. You know what I mean? Like I loved this. This was my going out night scent. I always got compliments. This was a highly compliment scent for me in my life. So when I ran out of it, I was like, what am I going to do? But I found other things, didn't I? Yes, I did. This is notes of toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, creamy vanilla. It's a nice marshmallow, creamy scent. You kind of get that nighttime vibe when you're wearing it and you get a summer vibe. So I don't know how else to describe it because we do have marshmallow that kind of comes out at all different points in the year. They've really just brought these notes together in a way that makes you think of a night outside, hanging out. Maybe you smell s'mores. Maybe you smell just marshmallows. Maybe you just get the vanilla, but I highly, highly love this scent. And it's nothing like a Boardwalk Taffy vanilla. It's definitely more different creamy, marshmallowy because boardwalk taffy is cotton candy like this is definitely more of like a marshmallow vanilla i love it i definitely plan to back it up and this one i honestly i'm gonna put ahead of even my number one scent i like these for different reasons this is a nice fruity sweet sugary scent mix a little bit of floral but this is just my greatest of all time and i it you just have to know, like this was my champagne toast at one point. Then I ran out and I couldn't get any more. So champagne toast became my champagne toast. But I loved Beach Night. So I will spray the heck out of this because I don't, I don't think it's super long lasting. My trick with this is I definitely lay down like a stronger vanilla base. I will pull out a stronger vanilla perfume and I spray my clothes, which I feel like with this scent makes it last a little bit longer than just doing like a quick spritz or just skin spritz. I think this one needs to kind of be on the clothes to last a long time, but I don't mind respraying it. I hope they have minis in this so I can, you know, actually just have it on the go. But that is just me. I'm sure that 99% of you would not pick this to be your number one scent. But that is where I'm going to turn this over to you. Let me know down below what is your favorite scent we've gotten so far this year. What stays at the top of your list? Has it been knocked down? Give me anything you want. Give me your top three, top four, top five. I love to talk with you guys in the comments. So um, I would like to know, you know, as we're getting more stuff, Sass is going to be bringing us new scents. This is all I've picked up so far this year, which is pretty good for me. I know it's still like 20 cents, but um, when I get the other summer scents, I will do another ranking for you. Um, I know this one's still going to stay really high up there on the list. So if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it, but that's okay. That's what this store is for. So there's more of this for me and there's other scents for you. That's what we love about our Bath and Body Works. But I hope you found this video fun, long and rambly as usual. And I'm going to let you go and I will see you in the video probably tomorrow. Thank you guys. Bye.